Hello everyone, welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your SSL VPN and how to use 40 client to connect to your 40 gate VM in the Azure environment. We're going to utilize Azure 40 gate next generation firewall test drive to complete this lab. We're going to test in SSL VPN. You will see how easy you can create it, your SSL VPN and then connect to it using 40 client. Just a couple steps, then the VPN portal will be up and then you will be able to create the users and connect it from remote machines. Also, in my YouTube channel, you will be able to search 40 gate and find out more topic regarding how to use FortiGate Firewall to create your home lab in VMware in Azure environment, deploy it to Azure free tier or connect it to other firewalls using VPN. For now, let's start it. As mentioned, we're going to use 40 gate next generation firewall test drive. It's very simple to get it as long as you have a Azure account. You can just search Azure Marketplace for 40 gate and then you will find this 40 gate next generation firewall test drive button. Click on it, and then in less than two minutes, this VM is going to be up and running and ready for you to configure it. Here is the basic topology in this lab. After your VM has been created in test drive, you will get the public IP address, which one to one net to this 10.0.1.4 IP address on your 40 gate VM. Internally, you will have 10.0.2.4 but for your DMZ, which is your protected network, you will have 10.0.3 network. You will have a Ubuntu machine 10.0.3.4 for your testing ready as well. So that's basic topology. Username is standard, password is being given in the menu, which you also can find it from this test drive user menu. So as you can see, our test drive virtual machine is ready now so you can open link to start to log in to this VM. It's gonna be valid for three hours. There are two interfaces on it. The whole process in this lab has been recorded in this blog post. I will put it in the video description. So now let's follow that post to configure SSL VPN and connect to it. Now let's use default username and password to log in. The default username and password can be found from test driver user menu. There's a basic setup, but we can leave it later on. You can check the system interfaces, routing, network, policy, so it's almost empty, but they do have two ports enabled. Port 1, which is 10.0.1.4, that's a, we call it WAN interface. Port 2, it's a LAN interface. There's also protected network behind this port 2, based on our topology here, which we call it DMZ network. So first thing you want to check is the feature. Just make sure SSL VPN feature has been enabled. It's under the VPN. If you go back to VPN, you should be able to see SSL VPN portals. By default, they have three different profiles being created, full access, uh, tunnel access, and web access. So once those has been confirmed, then we can start to configure our SSL VPN. To config SSL VPN on FortiGate is really, really simple. So basically, we need to enable SSL VPN. It has been switched on, but not fully configured. So which interface? Of course, it's port 1 
our van interface we can leave the default port 443 for here but you also can change it to other port for this lab we're gonna keep it default you need to choose a server certificate you can use let's encrypt to create your own trusted certificate but for this lab we're using built-in certificate which is fine as well of course we will get a warning message but that's fine for lab environment we're gonna allow access from any host other settings mostly will be default address range is also default range it only has 10 IP address but if you want to customize IP range you can do that other than that there's not much need to be created of course you need to make sure you can assign a portal for your users you're gonna do the tunnel access for this portal basically we allow all users to use tunnel apply to it after you apply the SSL VPN settings you will get a list warning message say no SSL VPN policies so in this case we can create our SSL VPN policy click on it or you can click policy and object file or policy here you will get the list notification for using new layout okay keep using existing old layout doesn't matter so we're gonna create a new name we can define it SSL VPN to LAN incoming interface which we come in from our SSM VPN tunnel interface outgoing interface which is our destination port 2 LAN network source of course it will be any the tricky part is the user we have to choose a user and a group here so we're gonna create our own users since we don't have any user created yet we're gonna create our local user on this firewall we're gonna call it remote user 1 we don't need a two-factor authentication you can add it to the group but for this lab I don't want to create any user group for this one just submit So we put the source as all IP address and remote user 1 can connect to this SSL VPN gateway. Destination will be our protected network which is DMZ zone. So in this case we don't have it defined. Let's create a new network. interface will be port 2 since it's behind the port 2 it's gonna be subnet so 10.0.3.0 slash 24 network click OK choose it as our destination schedule always service or I want to enable NAT if it doesn't have to be but that will help in the future when you have other side-to-side -side VPN you want to access remote site this is gonna be very helpful for you to connect into other than that you can enable login when you do giant testing you can see the logs and the policy is enabled that is pretty much for the policy So the configuration on the 40 gate side is completed. We have SSL VPN enabled. We have firewall policy also created, user created. Now we need to get the 40 client installed. There's a couple of ways you can get 40 client. One way you can do is go to your VPN settings. You can send out SSL VPN configuration to your user. So we have VPN name is 40 client dash VPN. So we can tell then the host is our public IP and also we can send to your user's email. Just telling them to download 40 client and configure it to run it. Basically an email gonna send to 
the email box. In a couple of seconds, you should be able to receive this email. Basically, it will tell you where to download it and how to configure your connection. This is the one way. Another way is very simple as well. If you have web portal enabled, you should be able to go to your web portal, which is port 443, and you also can use your remote user to log in. Once you logged in, you should be able to download 40 client and or launch 40 client from your remote user one page. I'm gonna use in this Windows sandbox to do this. We're gonna download SSL VPN. You can also search 40 client VPN download, which gonna guide you to the 40 product download page. There's a 40 client 7.2 is available right now. So we're gonna download 40 client VPN only. So we download the for the Windows. Once you download it, click on it and follow the wizard to finish the configuration. Accept the license agreement. Next, install it. You will see 40 client VPN icon shows on your desktop. Click finish to finish installation. Now we got our 40 client VPN, we installed it. Our next step is to configure it to connect into our 40 gate VPN gateway. The configuration process is also simple, easy to do. Double click your icon. You will get this 40 kind zero trust fabric agent window. Acknowledge this free software. Then you will get this configure VPN link on your window. Click on it. It's going to bring you to new VPN connection window. There's a couple VPN options you can do using XML to import it if you have the VPN configuration. If you're using IPsec VPN, that's a different type of remote access VPN, you can use it to connect to it as well. For this lab, we're using SSL VPN. We gave a name which is our public IP and uh, remote gateway, which is our VM's public IP too. Uh, we don't have customized the port, so we are using default 443. Authentication is gonna prompt on login. We don't have certificate. Save it. So now we are gonna connect into our VPN gateway using the IP address, you need to provide in a username, which is our remote user one, connect to it. You will see the status bar here to show the progress of connecting to your VPN gateway. If it's holding there, no progress, that is because there's another page behind this window. I think this is bug there. If we can make sure this security alarm window pump up, in front of this window, that will save lots of time. People get confused all the time because of this window is behind. They don't know what's the progress and they keep waiting. I made that mistake many times. So you will see because we are using self-signed certificate, so there's a certificate warning. Actually, it's very simple. You just need to click yes, then you will see the status gonna flowing through very quickly. You see, we have connected to layer. That's one thing we can check is our IP address. Did we get that VPN IP address? 10.212.134.200. The scope is from 200 to 210. So we got the first IP right now. So now let's see if we can pin our protected network VM, which is our Ubuntu server layer. Yes, 
10.0.3.4 is behind our LAN port 2. So we can easily ping it. You also can trace it to it as well to see the hop. It should be two hops only there. Trace completed. So the first hop is our computer's IP. The second hop is remote side. So basically the packet get into the tunnel and then get out from the firewall gateway and reach our destination. So that's all for this video. I presented how easy you can configure SSL VPN gateway on a FortiGate firewall. And I presented how you can download it, Forti client and install it and then connect to your VPN gateway. It's very simple, straightforward and easy to do. I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. That will give me great support. Thank you for watching again. See you in my next video. Thank you.